So you finished exporting to IFC from Revit and you are very proud of your work. But are you sure that your work is flawless? Did you know you could use the free open source Blender Beam add-on to check it out and to validate your work? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Petru and I'm a dreamer of a digitally built environment. Thanks to Dion Molt who accepted my invitation and to my boss who allowed me to use a file from one of our projects, you will get the privilege to see a very special series of videos about how you can validate your IFC exports using the Blender Beam add-on. I promise you, this is the best series of this kind that you will find for free on the entire internet. If you think any different, then I kindly invite you to prove me wrong. Now make yourself comfortable for this short introductory video of this series. Let's go! Hello Dion, thank you for taking the time to do this. I hope this will be useful for other people as well. Yep, so today Petru has very have we provided this file here, this Lural Hage, Hag, Hage? Yeah. I don't know how it's pronounced. How is it pronounced? You say it Ulural Hage. And yeah. this is a structural model. It's 104 megabytes, which is basically around a mid-sized IFC model. Just before we dive in, let's try to summarize a bit. What are we going to look at today? What do you think is important to look at when we are reviewing an IFC file? So I think the very first thing to look at is, can you actually look at the IFC? You know, can I load it? Like if, if somebody gives me a one gigabyte IFC file, that's usually a red flag. And so we'll go through making sure that anybody can load it on a variety of platforms. Then once you can load it, then we'll start looking at the details of what's inside of it, starting from basic things like which schema have they chosen? Is it a good choice to use that schema? And then also simple types of metadata. Two things that you look at when you want to search for objects is what are they named and what type of object are they? After the basic type of data, we'll look at other BIM basics, like whether there are correct materials in the file whether you have trustworthy properties or not. And these are things that are very, very basic from a BIM perspective. You know, the integrity, the quality of the data that you're providing in your BIM database. But many people treat IFCs as still it's not important and they just press export and they think their job is done. And I think the industry has to move past that. And we have to start taking a much closer look, a much stricter look at how IFCs are actually uh, coming out of our software and say, is this good enough? Is this actually a BIM deliverable? Yeah, I think we must get used to get out of our comfort zone, dedicate a bit of time and learn how we can take the best out of these tools and how to make those adjustments to export much better models. You said something about the schema in the beginning. What kind of schema? When you say that, you mean what version of IFC are we using, like IFC 2x3 or IFC 4? Or is That's it right. something else? Okay. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. We'll talk a little bit about MVD as well, but it's becoming less and less relevant. Well, what do you think? I hope you are as excited as me and you will keep following along. The first hands-on video of this series is about how to deal with large files. Well, what are you still waiting for? Just click here and go watch it already. 